if I asked any other guy to do the exact same thing that I just did, they would do anything to reject. Why? We all know why. It's, it's weird, it's humiliating, and it's embarrassing. So then you might be wondering, what is this guy doing up here? Well, I obviously knew beforehand that it was going to be embarrassing, but I didn't let that stop me from being stylish in front of you, did I? So today, just like me, my main goal up here is to convince you that you too can stop letting embarrassment ruin your plans. We've all been there, either younger or older. We've all made that one big mistake that caused all your friends to laugh at you. I'm sure some of you even remember vividly exactly what happened on that precise day. I mean, I remember it like it was yesterday. It was a hot summer day when we were all at the green field playing football. And my childhood crush was on my team. And like any other kid, I wanted to impress her so bad. So I wanted to do all these fancy tricks and make her realize just how cool of a guy I am. And my friend passed me the ball and they shouted, shoot, Jun, shoot. Well, I kicked hard. All right, but just not at the ball. I, my foot swung and I slipped and I fell to the ground. I quickly, I, I quickly got up, tried to ignore the pain as best as possible and played on. But now you might be wondering, why am I telling you this story? To another person, this story might sound like a funny incident. However, to the protagonist itself, it becomes a memory, a tragic one. So the next time the person decides to play football or any other sport, they will, rem they will remember the embarrassing thing that, that has happened and lose all their confidence. The sport won't have the same fun anymore and a lot of people experience this and it's such a pity because the potential they may be able to bring out is locked away because of the fear of getting embarrassed. But that's where I come in. For any of you going through this hard journey, let me give you some advice on how to overcome this fear. A mandatory step one is to take a step back. A lot of the times when people want to resolve these fears, they would think of bulldozing their way in. When in truth, the easiest and the most effective way is to pause and keep a distance between your fear and yourself. If you think enough time was spent, slowly introduce yourself to the situation again. For my football example, I can start by practicing on my own to correctly aim at the ball and kick it. And afterwards, I can practice with a friend to improve further. Step by step, and you'll feel more comfortable and confident in what you're doing once you see the improvement. And that's when you can finally face the fear again. This time, you're no longer fighting a monster with bare fists. This time, you're equipped with gears and you have the confidence that you can defeat it too. I want to end my speech with this. One important reason why some don't even try to overcome their fear in the first place is because they are afraid of doing something embarrassing again. And to those people, I want to say, look at me with a skirt I borrowed from my sister. Life's too short to care about the little things that worry us in life. Let's live it like how we want and not get stopped by our own embarrassment. Thank you.